Hey, it's been a while. I finally managed to get my hands on a GoPro Hero 9 and today I want to show you some of the underwater footage that I've managed to take with it and give you my initial thoughts of how the GoPro Hero 9 does underwater. So yeah, let's start off right away. So this clip of this sea snake I shot using the Hypersmooth 3 on boost mode which is the new and built stabilization of the GoPro Hero 9. I shot this clip in 4K 60 frames and the thing about the new Hero 9 is that you can use the Hypersmooth boost mode on higher resolutions and higher frame rates which you couldn't on the older models. And here are the settings that I was using for these two clips. I also tried out the slow motion with the new Hero 9 and I loved how the clips came out. It looks super smooth and crisp. This clip I shot in, I think it was 2.7K resolution at 120 frames. Again in this clip I was using the new stabilization and you can see that even though I was kicking trying to stay at the surface and filming at the same time, the clip looks really smooth and stable. Same with these dolphin clips, I filmed them at 120 frames and then in DaVinci Resolve I changed the frame rate down to 24 frames to get this slow motion effect. The thing I love about the GoPro is that it's so small and compact that it doesn't get in the way of me swimming when I'm like chasing after these marine creatures. One thing I did notice about the Hero 9 is that the battery life is super good compared to the older models. Usually in a day like this I get through 2 or 3 batteries but on this day I actually managed to get through the whole day with just one battery. And yeah these are the settings that I was using for the dolphin sequence which is being shown right now. So I filmed most of these clips whilst I was snorkeling and freediving so I didn't have to use a housing because I didn't go very very deep. It was really easy for me to just take the Hero 9 out of the box which it came in and take it straight into the ocean so it was super hassle free and just very convenient to use. One thing that I didn't actually get to try on this outing was the 5k capabilities of the Hero 9. I know this was one of the big draws of the new GoPro but I didn't think my laptop could handle the editing so I haven't tried it yet. I'm definitely going to try it out next time I go out filming and in the following weeks I'm going to be uploading more videos about the Hero 9 so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah these last clips that I'm showing you aren't of underwater clips but they are the night lapse and time lapse settings of the Hero 9 and I think they did an excellent job with these lapses too. So yeah that's going to be it for this video. This week I'm going to be trying to upload another GoPro Hero 9 tutorial and also let me know if you guys want any videos in particular whether it's on color grading or GoPro tutorials. I can try to make that. So yeah as always I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.